Welcome back to Musician's Edition Music Theory. Today, we're going to discuss certain symbols that inform us on how to play a certain note in a little more detailed way. Ready to learn about articulations? Let's go! Alright, so the symbols that we're learning today is called articulation. And articulation tells us more specifically in how the composer wants us to play the note. So this dot, either above or below the note, depending on where your note is on the staff, is a staccato. Staccato means short. So for example, when we have the quarter note, that is usually worth one beat, correct? So if we ta the quarter note, it's ta. Now, when we have a staccato on the quarter note, we just shorten it. So now, when we ta the staccato quarter note, it sounds like this, ta. Let's take a listen from an actual instrument. This is the standard quarter note. And that is the quarter note with staccato. Now, the staccato is shown in a lot of our sheet music, so the staccato is something you want to get comfortable with. If you have any further questions about the staccato, please feel free to ask in the comments. Okay, let's move on to our next articulation. Now, if you see this little less than type sign above or under the note, just like these, this is an accent. And an accent tells us when to play the note with emphasis. So, our quarter note sounds like this, ta. Now, when there is an accent, it's more like this, ta. See how there's an attack on the note? Let's listen to a real instrument. Here is the standard quarter note. And now, here's the accent. Hear the emphasis on it? Accents are also very common in our sheet music, so they're also something we must know pretty well. All right, let's move on to our next articulation. This is sforzando. Sforzando means sudden. So sforzando refers more to the dynamics, so this means suddenly loud. Here's a short little example. I don't see this forsando as much as I see the others, but it's still worth making the mention of. All right, next we have these lines either above or under the note. This line is tenuto. Tenuto is the opposite of staccato. Tenuto means to hold out the note for its full value. This one is pretty well self-explanatory. Just make sure you hold the note out all the way. You probably don't want to sneak in a breath here since they want you to play the full duration of the note. And last but not least for today's lesson, this thing. It's the half circle with the dot in it. This symbol is also the symbol on my shirt. This is the fermata, and it means hold the note until the director cuts it off. The fermata is also common in our sheet music, so you'll see this guy pretty often. So if you want an example on how it works, your conductor would conduct, and when you hit your fermata, they'll hold out their hand like this, and if they're really wanting you to hold out the note, sometimes they'll move their fingers like this. And then the cutoff. Awesome. So now that you know articulations and what they mean, though small gestures paint the detailed picture. If you have any questions on articulations, please feel free to ask in the comments. And before you go, I also want to take a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification button so you don't miss any of our lessons. Thanks for joining me and until next time!